All right, hello everybody. Today we're gonna to be taking autopilot on some back roads. Uh, I got a lot of bends and twists on this route. So autopilot is designed right now to work uh, mainly on highways and a road like this, a straight divided highway. We don't need to go that fast. But today I'm gonna to take it on some really bendy, windy roads. So you may not wanna watch the whole thing. I'm just gonna record it, I'm gonna upload it. I'll put timestamps below. So if you wanna look in the description, you'll see kind of interesting points if autopilot fails or I have to take over, I'll just list those for you. Uh, but otherwise, uh, enjoy the drive. Okay, so here we go. Autopilot is engaged. We are following a truck up here. In case you're new to Tesla or you're not sure, you can tell that autopilot is on, meaning the car is doing the speed control and the steering control by this blue steering wheel. If I'm steering, it's just the blue around the number, now the car is controlling the speed. The gray steering wheel means autopilot is available and I can turn it on. So we'll let the car do the work here. So I have the following distance set to three. That's normally where I keep it. It's doing a good job handling the trailer. So the car is fully stopping to let him turn. And now that he's clear, the car continues. The acceleration in autopilot is pretty slow. So sometimes I will hit the accelerator to speed it up. But like I said, today I'm just gonna let it do as much as is safe. Okay, so we're coming up to our first set of smaller turns here. Since there are cars in front of us, I'm just gonna let autopilot do its thing. Uh, the car should naturally slow to help, help this car. Uh, if there wasn't a car in front of us, I would turn the speed down a bit. Um, the car can handle it at full speed and it will actually slow itself if the curve is big enough, but it doesn't always do a great job. So if you use the scroll wheel here, I don't know if you can see this, but if you use this, the right scroll wheel, you can turn the speed down so the car handles the turns a little bit better. Or the curves, I should say, they're not turns. So perfect on those, the car did everything, I didn't have to intervene at all. So we have a really big bend coming up here. Uh, if there aren't cars in front of us, I've done this bend before, the Tesla will actually slow itself down to go into this turn. And it's done it perfectly every time. You can actually, it's interesting, you can go straight here onto a dirt road, but the car seems to know to follow the, the curve of the paved road. So you can actually see, if you can see the white car up there went straight, but my car is gonna continue around the bend. I do have my hand on the wheel. You can't see it, it's in the lower left. Uh, of the steering wheel. I just kind of rest it on there so I don't get the nag up here. So perfectly handled that. My car actually slowed down more than the car in front of it. Again, I'm not using the accelerator, the brake, anything like that. So we're coming to the next bend here. Again, you can go straight here onto a dirt road, but the car will follow the pavement. So we're slowing more than the car in front of us person behind us may get a tad annoyed because we're going a little slower than you need to but better safe than uh, taking this turn too quickly okay so very good I'm gonna hit the accelerator to get back up to speed a little faster So 
So speed limit changes to 35 here. The car does it at the exact same time. Max is 40, and we'll let it go 40. So speed limit up here is going to change to 45. Let's see how quickly this reacts. Right as we pass the sign, 45, we'll do a max of 50. On non-divided highways like this, the autopilot is limited to 5 over the posted speed limit, which can get annoying if it has the speed limit wrong. So it's correct here, it's 45, but let's say the speed limit on this road was 55, and it thought it was 45, it's not going to let you go faster than 50. So you'd have to go too slow and you wouldn't want to use autopilot. I actually have a few roads like that on this route. So we have a left turn here. Uh, it's full 90 degree left turn. Uh, it's a dead end forward. There are cars. I'm going to see if this car can follow the other cars around the turn. It's never done it before, but you never know. Maybe today's the day. So here it goes. You can see this car is dark gray. It's tracking that one. And no, it's not going to even try to turn, so I'll do that. So you can click here to set the speed limit. It'll do your preset, I have it again set to go five over. So if I click the speed limit, it'll put the car five over. So we have another bend up here. I know the car slows down for this one. Maybe not. I guess it didn't need to, that was very smooth. So this is the one I was thinking of. It, it'll slow, so I'm not touching anything. The car is slowing itself to safely make it around this bend. And it accelerates out of the turn. That's really cool. The next curve in the road up here. It's hard to really see what's to the right, but the car seems to handle it fine. So no intervening there at all. I do throw my hand up here if I see another vehicle, just in case. I mean, the system's not perfect. I've never had it go off into the other lane, but, you know, why risk it? So just put a hand up here. If it tries to turn into the other lane, I would have enough force here where it just couldn't even move over. So uphill, a blind turn here. And almost over the line, but the car hit the brake before it actually went into the other lane. That was pretty good. I mean, the turn wasn't good. It should have slowed down, and it shouldn't have even touched the yellow line, but it's nice that it kind of saved the turn. I didn't have to intervene. It knew it was going to go over the line. It hit the brake and corrected itself. So these rolling hills, you can regain some of your energy. So the black here is I'm using energy from the battery, but as we go over this hill and start to go downhill just slightly, it'll turn green, and that means I'm recharging the battery. Pothole was not avoided. I don't know how they're going to do that, but they're going to have to, especially in Michigan. I'll avoid that one myself. So this is what's nice about the cameras being mounted high up here. 
Um, these are the forward-facing cameras for autopilot. When you go up a hill like that, and it's hard, I mean, so this hill here, you can't, you can't see what's on the other side. And I think probably at this point the cameras can't see much either, but as you start to climb it, the cameras can see what's up here sooner than you can. Right, another large curve here. The car does slow for this one, so it's slowing now. Again, I'm not touching the brake or anything. You can, you can kind of see the road curving. Slowed even more, and there it is. And then again, accelerating out of the turn is usually too slow. Um, hopefully that gets updated eventually. But you can always just hit the accelerator if you want and the car is still doing the driving until you let off the accelerator. Oh, okay, I don't know what that was. It got confused. It wanted me to take the wheel, but there was no, no danger or anything. So since there are cars here, the, my car is stopping at the light for me. If there were no cars, I would need to hit the brakes to stop at this red light. That little warning was interesting, I wonder what it was seeing or thinking. So hitting the accelerator a bit to get out of here. The car accelerates too slow. It's following that car, but that car was going over the line. And then once the, that's funny, then once the Tesla saw the line, it fixed itself. But it had no other point of reference besides this car. So whatever the car in front of you does, if there aren't any lines, your car is gonna follow them. Almost hitting the yellow there. My hand's on the wheel just in case, but it's good. It, it can feel strange because the car stays centered, and when you or I are driving, normally, especially around a curve, you hug one of the lines, and that's normal. But the car's goal is to always be centered, even going around a curve, so it can feel a little unnatural. Man, on these nice, smooth roads, it's just so quiet. You can hear the motors whirring. Nice part about autopilot, I can plug in while the car is doing the driving. Railroad crossing be interesting to see what the car would do, you know, if there's a train, or if the arm, the crossing guards are down. Have not come across that situation yet.
got a left turn here, the car will slow for them. This is pretty basic autopilot stuff. But it waits until they're fully out of the lane. And I just hit the accelerator because there's someone behind me. Otherwise, it would have taken forever. All right, coming up to the part of the road, I seem to be able to reliably activate autopilot. Let's see if we get it today. Hopefully, this guy's not in the way. Yep, same spot. All right, can it handle it this time? Before, it tried to take us off over there. Oh, yeah, not, not doing it. Oh, and then it was ready again. I missed it. Ah, keep missing it. There we go. Okay. Well, it's, it's definitely scared. <laughs> Hold the wheel. See how far it can make it. This is where it messed up before. Oh, it just turned itself off, so I didn't touch anything. It just decided it was done with that. That's pretty cool. Alright, if you turn the wheel going 20, the car slows down. I did not touch the brake. It slowed down to make the turn. Alrighty, that'll be it. See you in the next one.